Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Engineering Shiksha. In this video, we are going to learn BLDC motor, construction, principle and control. This motor has a high power to weight ratio due to absence of field winding. The field is produced by the permanent magnet of the machine. Principle of this motor is the same as a synchronous motor. Based on the rotor structure, the BLDC motor classified into three categories. First projecting magnet type, second inset magnet type, and third interior magnet type. Now, let us discuss the principle of BLDC motor. Here, in this example, the machine of the stator has three poles 120 degree apart. Each pole has its own winding, called W1, W2 and W3. This winding is used to create electromagnet poles in the stator. Remember, stator winding is wound, such that it produces south poles in the inner side of the stator pole, when excited with the direction of current shown in figure. The permanent magnet rotor of this machine has two poles. From this rotor position shown here, if we excite the winding W2 south pole is created under W2 winding of the stator. The south pole of the stator attracts rotor and pole. At the same time, south pole of the stator repels rotor as pole. As a result of this, rotor rotates 120 degrees in the clockwise direction. After some time, excitation of W2 is removed, and W3 is energized, and as a result, south pole is generated under W3 winding, and rotor completes another 120 degree rotation. Each excitation of winding causes 120 degree rotation called the step size of the stepper motor. Now when winding W1 is excited, rotor complete its full revolution of 360 degree. This way continuous clockwise rotation can be obtained by exciting this winding sequentially. To rotate in anti-clockwise direction, sequence of excitation need to be reverse. For example, after excitation of winding W1, Winding W3 must be excited, and finally winding W2 is excited to complete one full revolution in anti-clockwise direction. Here, to rotate BLDC motor, two important aspects are need to be understand first. How, and when to excite the winding. To excite the stator winding, DC source and electronic switches such as transistors are used as shown in figure. Anti-parallel diode is connected to freewheel the stored energy of inductor. When any one of the transistor is turned on respective phase winding will be energized and S pole is generated under that winding. When to excite the stator winding? Before excitation of any winding, information of exact rotor position is required. For that purpose encoder or optical sensors are used. In our case, light source with phototransistors are used to get the position of rotor. When phototransistor receive the light generated by the LED, then phototransistor gives high signal. And when phototransistor not able to receive the light generated by the LED, phototransistor gives low signal. Here if the rotating disc block the LED signal, Phototransistor gives low signal, otherwise it provides high signal. In BLDC motor, we have three optical encoder and that are placed 120 degree apart. The phototransistor of this encoder is connected to transistor switch, to excite the winding. Whenever phototransistors receive the light, 
that corresponding phototransistor is turning on and also makes the transistor on. The phototransistor 1 is connected to transistor D3. The phototransistor 2 is connected to transistor D1. And the phototransistor 3 is connected to transistor T2 for clockwise rotation. The rotor of BLDC motor is attached with special disc as shown here. This disc has two-thirds opaque region that is non-transparent for light and one-third region is transparent region and allow the light to pass through. In the present situation, only PT3 encounter transparent region and as a result of this, PT3 turning on and PT3 makes transistor T2 on. As a result, winding W2 is excited and rotor rotates for 120 degree in clockwise direction. This rotation makes PT3 turning off, because PT3 is now covered by opaque region. In the present situation, now PT1 is in counter non-transparent region and allow the light to pass through it, and as a result, PT1 turning on, and it makes transistor T3 to be turned on. Hence, winding W3 is excited and rotor further rotates 120 degree. Now, PT2 is uncovered and turning on, and it makes transistor T1 on. As a result, winding W1 is energized and full rotation is completed. For anti-clockwise rotation phototransistor connection need to be updated. Note that this arrangement of transistor switch allows only unidirectional current, and at any time only one winding is excited. If we draw the plot of torque versus time due to angle variation, torque fluctuation is observed. For low performance, such as CPU fan this arrangement can be used. In the next video we will discuss bidirectional BLDC motor drive and some other application. Thank you, and if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. This will motivate us to create such video. Goodbye. Thank you.